I'm so excited about today's video because I am going to show you how I batched cooked four different casseroles in one day. I'm gonna walk you through it all. It took about two hours and now I have four dinners for the week that I don't have to worry about. So I just threw some broccoli right behind me so it can start to cook. And then I chopped up a can of artichokes and I'm dicing up an onion. As you can see, that onion had a little uh, bad spot that I had to cut out. So I chopped up two onions actually and I began to saute that in a second pan. This is for a broccoli, cheese, rice, and chicken casserole. Now three of the dishes that I made are actually chicken based and one is pasta based. So you, when I'm doing this, I'm, I'm still starting. It will get better, but I, for the time being, I just made all the protein chicken. So here's what I did in the meantime. I chopped up some carrots and celery, put it to the side. So when the broccoli was done, I'm gonna pop that in the same pot. And now after my garlic and onions are cooked, I threw in all my chicken. I put a ton of chicken because I knew that this is for the whole entire week. I seasoned it, I put some salt and pepper, and then my broccoli was pretty much done. So I drained my broccoli for my, uh, my broccoli casserole, and then I had an empty pot, which is where I put the carrots and the celery. I could have put a third pot, on my stove but i just didn't want to i have a rice cooker i use it about four times a week it's 25 dollars four cups is what i made for this particular um, batch cooking session and i split it out into two cups at a time uh, in the beginning and i'll tell you about that in a minute because i want to show you i'm putting two cans of cream of celery or you can do cream of chicken whatever you want cream of mushroom it's up to you and a bunch of mozzarella shredded and I'm tossing. I'm looking at this and I'm saying to myself, oh, it's not that moist. I need to add a little bit more. I don't wanna put another soup. So I decided to go ahead and throw in some diced tomatoes because we all know that Campbell's does have some sodium in it and I just didn't wanna put another one in. So tomatoes will do. So now that looks really great. All I have to do is add the chicken. It's still cooking. So I decided to make baked ravioli. This is my favorite dish on the planet. One part tomato sauce, one layer ravioli uncooked. You can do it frozen or you can do it uh, just, you know, I buy them not frozen. And then cheese, sauce, ravioli cheese sauce ravioli and then of course you top with a layer of cheese i set that aside my chicken was finally done and now i started to assemble and toss so i put um some beans and carrots and celery in one corn in another i put salsa and i put tomato sauce in the other recipes below